everyone so I wanted to show you my project that I was working on um, this weekend after my daughter's birthday party I got the idea um, this is a like a video response I guess you could say for the Wild Bunch Jane it's a Velocity um, I forgot her name Velocity Vet 08 where she said um, to do something similar to what she had done of what art means to you so this is what art means to me. Art means it an, entertains, inspires, and explodes with creative imagination. So basically what this is, is a plywood. It's just a plywood because I don't have canvas. Um, so I just use whatever I have on hand. And this is what I had. And what I did is um, I painted it. Well, first I gessoed it. And then I painted it with um, Folk Art, uh, Canyon Blue, Heather, um, a little bit of Vintage White, and I also used um, Patio Paint Patina Purple. So this is my little color palette that I was using. I have another blue that I was mixing in. Um, I think I put that one away already. But what I was doing um, was I was mixing in the paints and I was uh, just brushing as you, I don't know if I was making my strokes kind of going to the right. And then I put in a little bit of sand. I have the accent sand that I got from a $2 bag at Michael's. And with that is um, I mixed it in with the paint. And once it was a little bit dry, I went ahead and gessoed it again. And then I moved, I removed it with paper towels. So you can see my background there. It has um, sand and it has the, you know, I, I like the background. It, it kind of looks, you know, what how I wanted it to look, actually. So you can see my background there. Then once that dried, um, I stamped it. You can see really faint. I stamped it with, I have this stamp set here I got from Michael's. Um, what is this from? Dinka Dinka Do, I think it is. So I stamped it with this and Pumice Stone from the Tim Holtz Distress Paints. So that's what I was using to um, create some, create my background. Then the letters are from Michaels from the Dollar Forty Nine letters, and I just gessoed them and painted them in the in the same three colors that I had used. Mama um, hurt my and again, I you can see my letters. I I didn't. I only did one so it could so the white could shine through so it could fit what I had done. The paintbrushes, gessoed them and then painted them with the colors. Wild Orca Craft flowers and roses, and then um, right here is oops is a Prima trim flower along with a Prima doily up there. This is vintage lace from my stash. And then that is a um, artichoke charm. Oh, yeah. The words, um, I made it in the silhouette and I used the Alice in Wonderland font. And then that again, that's more wild orchid craft okay. roses and um, the stems, I guess they were the swirl stems. And then more, some more lace. And the corners are filigree corners from Michaels. I think they're memory something. I, I forgot what they're called. So the Wild Orchid Craft Flowers that I use are the ones that come in a packs. Those purple ones. Um, that there's like a, I think it's 25 or 50 of them. I forget. And I think that's it. So I hope you guys um, create something similar and you check out um, Velocity Vet 08's page or you can go to Wild Orchid Crafts um, YouTube show uh, videos. That's where I, I got my inspiration. Thanks for watching.